couple weeks ago, we spent like three hours on live stream breaking down and discussing just the first 50 seconds of the adults are talking by the strokes. Now I want to show you how that iconic intro guitar riff is built straight from the chords. Let's get right into it. Putting the bass and the intro guitar riff together, we can tell that we're in the key of F and the chord progression is two, five dominant seven, one, four major seven. It's a great, very compelling progression. It has a sense of perpetual motion to it. Just when one tension is resolved, another tension is introduced, either harmonically or structurally. Classic Casablancas. Let's take a look at what notes constitute these chords. The two has Re, Fa, La, scale degrees two, four, six. The five dominant seven has Sol, Ti, Re, Fa, scale degrees five, seven, two, four. The one has Do, Mi, Sol, scale degrees one, three, five. And the four major seven has Fa, La, Do, Mi, four, six, one, three. It's also worth pointing out that this is a sequence. From the two, we ascend a fourth to the five, and then we repeat that shape a step down. From the one, we ascend a fourth up to the four. It's super satisfying and really adds to that perpetual motion. Now the bass plays all the root notes of these chords, laying the foundation for the guitar riff, which is what we're really concerned with today. So let's take a look at what that is doing. Rinse and repeat. During the two chord, it bounces back and forth from fa to re, the third and root of that chord. During the five dominant seven, it bounces back and forth from fa to t, the seventh and third of that chord. Note the repetition of fa across that harmonic change. We do have a really quick approach note of that re before we move to the one. Re is also in the five seven chord, so we have been strictly playing chord tones thus far. Onto the one, we have Mi and Do, the third and root once again. We do repeat that Re approach tone, our first and only non-chord tone. But it hardly reads as a non-chord tone because we're repeating it rhythmically identically to how it appeared during the 5-7 when it was a chord tone. Your ear is already familiar with it, so it feels right at home. Then during the 4 major 7, we have Mi and La. Notice here across this chord change, not only do we return to me similarly to how we returned to fa before, but we are also once again playing the seventh and the third. The progression isn't the only thing that's a sequence. The riff is also repeating a structure as a sequence inside of the larger sequence. Chord, up a fourth, chord, up a fourth, third, root, seventh, third, third, root, seventh, third. It's like great literature, foreshadowing, parallelism, etc. Mwah. Add in that quick ray approach tone so it doesn't get too systematic, and then throw in that accent on the me on the end of four before sliding up to fa on the downbeat, reintroducing harmonic tension just as the whole cycle starts again, and you have what could be considered a perfect chord tone riff. So many people are always asking, how do I get outside the box? How do I incorporate more non-chord tones? But look how powerful and magical the chord tones can be. What can be done by thinking outside the box while staying with the contents that are inside the box? I mean, this riff is so good that it doubles as the main vocal melody of the chorus. A great way to start playing around with what's inside the box, to rearrange them in new ways, to look at them in a new light, is with rhythm. And the rhythm here is really compelling. One, two, three, four, and one, and, 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 four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and, 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 four, and. This is really great just on its own. Once again, infinitely loopable. Focuses on the on beats for a bar and then focuses on syncopation for the next. Back and forth in perpetuity, giving it an incredibly bouncy feeling. 
Something very striking about this is the interaction between the rhythm and the notes. The way they alternate so decisively, it kind of feels like two voices, both in the musical and metaphorical sense. What beautiful musical symbolism. The music is perfectly suited to represent and invoke the title but it can go deeper. We don't see them taking turns corresponding with the onbeat and syncopated measures of the rhythmic motif. Instead, they always alternate in the middle of these measures, almost as if they're interrupting each other. Looking at the title and the lyrical content, I would interpret the song as being about encapsulating the struggle most adults experience in facing the volatile, intense, socio-political climate of the US in recent years. Analogizing that experience to that of a child being brushed off. Shush, honey, shh, the adults are talking. Not being allowed a say in the matter, despite the fact that it directly and profoundly affects them. But please don't get me started on that. Anyway, this melody is basically a representation of that arguing back and forth put into a guitar riff. Everyone loves that dueling guitar part between Albert and Nick later in the song, often pointing out its clear link to the title. But even the main riff is a symbol of that imagery as well, just arranged for one guitar instead of two. Add to this concept all that discussion of tension and release and perpetual motion, and it becomes even more vivid. Just when it seems they've reached a resolution and the arguing might stop, a new tension is introduced. It seems like this will never stop. The cycle will never end, and we as civilians are caught right in the middle, unable to meaningfully affect it. And plus, as this riff is also the chorus vocal melody, this song is heavily steeped in madrigalism, something that Jules and the boys have been employing since the very beginning. So there you have it. How do you make a riff from a chord progression? Identify individual notes from the chords, utilize a compelling rhythm, arrange them in a way that symbolizes the meaning of the song. Bada bing, bada boom. I was thinking about making another video exemplifying this process, like writing our own song from, from this concept. Does that sound interesting to you guys? Let me know. I'm sure some of y'all have noticed that my output has been inconsistent lately. And honestly, it's because I had built myself up to a level of production value that was simply unsustainable for my size as a channel. So I've decided to scale back that production value and work back up to it as it makes sense. Committing to a new production model that I think will be much more sustainable for myself as we move forward. Live streaming real-time in-depth analyses regularly, and then making shorter edited videos from the most exciting and applicable things from those live streams. I'm still figuring out the best schedule for live streaming, so check my community posts for announcements on those. But the next one will be part three of the Adults are talking on Monday, December 4th at 7 p.m. EST. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more stuff like this, the best way to support is subscribe, share, comment, private lessons, Patreon, original music, tips and thanks. And I sincerely hope that you learned something today that you can take with you and utilize in your own music. Bow na